Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. Today we have two months worth of Topps Future Stars Club, the special subscription box that Topps puts out approximately once a month. I guess now it's three times per month. They got behind. So about one month ago we did, I think it might have been their June box. It had Star Wars uh, blaster boxes in them. And um, just recently I got two shipments in from them. And uh, I think this might be the June box and this, or the July box, and this might be the August box. So you can see it's the Topps Future Stars Club. Each box or each subscription box contains one blaster box, one exclusive set that you can only get if you're a Future Stars member, and one bonus item as well. So we're going to open these up. We'll do both months. I'm not going to make two separate videos and stuff like that. We'll just do it all here. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in our first uh, sponsor. We'll start with the bigger box. This is Ben Dillon's box. Ben, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Ben's one of our Patreon members. If you'd like to check us out on Patreon, you can do so. You get access to all of our breaks and, um, you know, all of our posts, all of our breaks, all of our video sponsorships. If you'd like to check us out there and support the channel, I'd very, very much appreciate it. Link is down in the description. It starts off at $4.99 per month. And higher tiers get monthly boxes and packs sent. So here's what we've got. And I'm, I'm going to call this the, uh, I guess this is the July box from Tops. All right. So we've got a Gypsy Queen Blaster, which we'll open that up and see what we can find. We have um, what looks to be a Christmas ornament. So let's see if I can open this out up and uh, maybe then stick it back in here for Ben. Christmas in July. This would, be, that would have been a cool gift for um, for the December box. Top Future Stars Club. So they gave us a uh, an ornament. I don't know if that was maybe ordered for the December box and they just didn't get them in time. So, I mean, that's kind of cool. And then here's the exclusive set as well, which we'll check out. It's five cards per exclusive set and uh it'll be the five same five cards in each box and that's a pretty nice i like that design there's fernando tatis on the front and uh acuna on the back we'll see what's in there in just one second let's go ahead and start with uh we'll rip open ben's card and see what we can find in his gypsy queen box ben thank you very much all right so gypsy queen it's been a little while since we've opened this but hope we can find um who knows? Maybe an autograph. Maybe a couple nice rookies. Maybe a bazooka back. Thank you very... Oh, man. I forgot. Gypsy Queen's tough to open as you saw me struggling with the packaging there. All right. So we do have these greens that are inserted into the middle of the pack. Max Scherzer quietly having a great season at age 37. He's got like a 240 earned run average. And his whip, I think his whip, which is his walks plus hits divided by innings pitch, is crazy low. It's like 0.8 something. I was looking today at guys that I would consider for the Cy Young Award, and uh, Max Scherzer would be one of them, but I think Walker Buehler should get it. There's a Davey Garcia and a Christian Yelich out of 250. he He's been heating up a bit. Joe Adele, rookie card. I like that one a lot. A lot of folks now are kind of throwing up their arms at the 2021 rookie class, saying these guys all stink, and um, they have been uh, very underwhelming. I'll give them that. There's Casey Mize, but... I, I'm not uh, totally convinced that maybe a couple years from now, some of these guys are going to really, really be good. Uh, Casey Mize and Joe Adele are two guys right there that I think are going to be fantastic stars down the line. We shall see. Of course, every year, there's every single year, you can go and find rookies that look like they're going to be good, and then they end up being total busts. Just uh, You don't have to look back all that far. Just look at uh, Aristides Aquino. No offense to Reds fans out there. There's Dalton Varsho. We get an autograph. How about that, Ben? So we ask for an auto, and we get one. A Dalton Varsho on-card autograph in our blaster box. That's pretty awesome. Get that one top-loaded up for you. And we also got that exclusive set. All right, so our next pack, nothing too crazy in here. Ramon Laureano, now, of course suspended and how about starling Marte with like 20 stolen bases in this first like 30 games for the uh, athletics or something like that absolutely crazy he's leading the league with 42 steals right now and uh, if you look at his splits the last 30 days he has 20 stolen bases jazz chisholm rookie card starling Marte, one of my favorite players used to love when he was on the pirates and glad to see he's going berserk out in oakland right now 
and uh, making people take notice. I think he's a free agent at the end of the season, so it uh, looks like he may get paid pretty well. Cody Bellinger, by the way, the greens aren't numbered. They're just one per pack. Also, whenever you get these Gypsy Queen, you should always just do a quick look for bazooka backs. They're tough to find when I do the team breaks. Uh, I would find maybe one per four or five hobby boxes. But in the team breaks, we did have a couple good ones. Um, found a Juan Soto and a Vlad Jr. bazooka back. So nothing in there in terms of those bazooka backs for Ben. But let's check out this exclusive set right now and see what we've got in here. If I can get it open, I hate jewel cases. Jewel cases and me, well, we just don't get along. Here we go. All right, so the exclusive set is going to be Fernando Tatis Jr. We've got Raphael Devers from the Boston Red Sox. This is a nice set. Vlad Jr., is Shohei Otani going to be next? This might be like, uh, call this like the MVP contenders. Juan Soto and Ronald Acuna Jr. I like this. This is a very, very nice set right here. Huge star power names. Um, and if you check out the back, it just uh, tells you a little bit. So this is the July 2021 set. And the next box we're going to do here is going to be August. Pretty cool stuff right there. Love it. So, Ben, thank you very much. I'll go ahead and put your cards back in their packaging. Get your cards all team bagged up and uh, get that auto top loaded and ship that off to you. A couple other people wanted to, to get a box of these, and I did have four total available. So, Tara, Eric, and Nathan, yours will be sent to you sealed. I just feel like probably, that's probably a better idea to keep it sealed so that uh, it comes to you in, in uh, hopefully great uh, shape. I'll just leave it in the box. Especially with this guy right here. I don't want this Christmas ornament being damaged. So, with all that being said, let's do the other box now. We've got two of these to do. This is the Topps Future Stars for, I think, the month of August. They're almost caught up. They got real far behind there for a while. I didn't receive one of these for a few months. Let's check it out. The August box right now. This is going to be for Derek. Derek, thank you very much. Get your name on the screen and see what we can find. All right. So, inside of here... We've got our exclusive set with Derek Jeter on the front. And we have a special gift. The last one, it was a Christmas ornament this month. I don't know what the heck this is. It's plastic. It looks like it's inflatable. Maybe a beach ball. And we have, um, that's all from the box. It is an Allen and Ginter blaster box. So let's take a look at this thing right here. What the heck is this? I'm, I'm guessing it's a beach ball that you blow up in the shape of a ball in the shape of a baseball and it has the tops logo on it so i mean that's kind of cool take it out to the pool or whatever if your pool's still open up so derek i guess that's kind of awesome all right so we have our exclusive set which we'll check out here in just one moment and we also have this blaster so we'll do the blaster box and see what we can find in here Again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. It's a, it's a double upload day today, which is always nice. I always like filming two videos. I did the Bowman video earlier this, today, and i um, got this one tomorrow. It's, we're starting to get a whole bunch of subscription boxes rolling in, so tomorrow we may have the boom box. I'm not exactly sure which one I'm going to do tomorrow, but I've got... Some boom boxes. I've got the pen box coming up. I've got uh, the Grand Slam card club coming up. We've got these subscription boxes, which we're knocking out today. So let's check out these Allen and Ginter packs and see what we can find. Some people love Allen and Ginter. Some people absolutely hate them. Um, you're not going to find any numbered cards in Allen and Ginter unless it's going to be a rip card. I've found that out after over all the years of ripping Allen and Ginter. Typically, I'm not a huge fan of Allen and Ginter, as you probably know, but. Some people really, really enjoy these, and um, that's a nice pack. There is only one weirdo card in there, non-baseball. I feel like a few years ago when I was ripping out and getting to like at least two or three cards in every pack were non-baseball cards, which kind of turned me off to this product back then. We've got a mini. There's, By the way, there's one mini in each and every pack, which when you're sorting these out, they are an absolute headache and nightmare. Um, you have like a hobby box worth, the stack is super unstable, so you have to have like multiple stacks so it doesn't fall over because of those mini cards are in there. Oh man, not a fun one to sort out at all. Um, there's Nolan Ryan is the last one, so nothing crazy in this box yet. It'd be cool if we can make it two for two and get two hits out of two of our um, 
blaster boxes here. We've got an upside down Rogers Hornsby. There's a random tree and Hannes Wagner. We've got three packs left for Derek. Let's see if we can find Paul DeYoung on the top. Don't know who that is. It's a volleyball player, I think. Jake Cronenworth, there's a nice one, Crony. He's a good rookie. Arguably, you could call his rookie card the best in 2021 if you're going off of stats right now. The thing about Cronenworth that I'd caution you about is that he is 27 years old. So, I mean, look at some of these guys right now that are major stars. They're like 22. Juan Soto's 21. Tatis is 22. Acuna's 23. So, Cronenworth's prime might only be a couple years and if you go and spend big money on his autographs or his um, parallel rookie cards, probably not going to hold their value long term. That's just an opinion. I'm, if you're a Padres fan, feel free to say, no way, Crony's going to be great until he's like 40. But I think he's uh, definitely, you know, pound for pound, having the best year from the rookies. Some other guys are having good seasons too. And look at this. We do go two for two. It's a future Hall of Fame hit right here. Scott Rowland's going to be a Hall of Famer. It might be next year he gets voted in. He keeps picking up support. There he is in his Toronto Blue Jays uniform. I typically remember him for this time with the Phillies, Cardinals, but there he is in his Blue Jays. Scott Rowland, game use bat. So, Tops, um, hooking it up here with these um, subscription boxes. I'm not saying they're purposely seeding these subscription boxes with blaster boxes with hits probably just a coincidence i do have a couple more but i i don't want to uh open all these and have be like a 40 minute video so we're just doing these two but that's pretty cool two for two and it was in our last pack some last pack magic for Derek. so Derek, congratulations on the game you scott roland Jer er, bat card and now we have this special set here Derek jeter's on the front and david wright's on the back so we have a retired set and uh just between you and me, I hate these retired player sets. I don't hate them, but um, I don't really care for them that much. I would much rather have like the last month set with with you have uh, when you have those current guys in there like Acuna and Soto and Tatis. Whenever I see older players on like a 2021 card, it just uh, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really do much for me. I, even when I was a kid, I, I didn't like cards like that. Like some people were super into turn back the clock cards and tops, but not me. I was like, that's, I don't want that. That's a reprint, I would call it. We've got Derek Jeter on the front. Take a look at the back of the card, the August 2021 set. It features five players who serve as a captain for their team. So, of course, Derek Jeter would be number one. Now, there's Carl Yastrzemski, which is a nice one. Eddie Murray, Hall of Famer. Willie Stargell, a Hall of Famer as well, and the leader of the family. And we have David Wright, who will not be a Hall of Famer, but if you wouldn't have had that spinal stenosis and had to retire early, who knows? He could still be playing right now, and at this point, if he would have never gotten injured, he might be having a Hall of Fame career. So, Derek, thank you very much. We'll get your inflatable beach ball and uh, the rest of those cards sleeved up and put on the shelf for you. Apologies to Gary. I'm going to send you your box from August 2021 sealed. Um, just be easier that way for us. And um, that way you can maybe keep it sealed. I don't know what you want to do with it. But thank you everybody so much that participated in this video. Like I said, we've got some subscription boxes coming up. Our next live stream is going to be Saturday. And we have a Saturday showdown with um, cases of Quick Pitch. We've got some boxes of uh, Topps Chrome jumbos up for grabs and then we also have some select so we'll be ripping all those open if you'd like to participate in those it's filling on patreon there's plenty of spots left and uh, our live stream for our 100,000 subscriber giveaway will be coming up on tuesday september the 7th so we have some cards a couple boxes came in today of people donating cards we'll get all those opened up on mystery box monday and uh, give those away as well. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.